Hey, Don, how you doing? I've got your ads up here. Hey, you know, sometimes it's a really awesome idea to put your um, PDF of your ads here. Too. That way I can open them in Acrobat and we can zoom in and we can check alignment and all sorts of other things that I can't really do right here. So think about that in the future. I think your ads are great. I really do. I, th I think that your page mechanics is outstanding. Um, I, it's smart to use a background image to bleed the whole ad with an image and then uh, 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 assemble or compose the rest of the ad uh, accordingly. The image does have to be well picked, though, because sometimes when you use an image that's busy, it really interferes with the with the text, and and, and that really is probably the most important part of the ad is, is what we're offering here. I think that also I think that your this image is good. It's, it's it's this image I think it's too busy. It's just you can't read anything the way the place the text is placed over. There's just too much going on here. You can't read the text. I think this, this image here is, this ad here is much more successful. It's much simpler. It doesn't create this immediate confusion. Okay, where do you want me to look? That's the first thing I see when I open this page. It's like, I don't know where the designer wants me to look first. Therefore, I'm lost. Therefore, I'm confused. Therefore, I'm out of here. And that's what people, that's what how human behavior dictates um, the acceptance of a, a good, well, um, a, a welcoming a composition or something that maybe is a little bit haphazard, a little bit um, uh, chaotic, as it were, as in this ad right here. I'll get to that in one second. Nice, simple image for the background. I think that the type is, it, it's okay. I'm wondering, boy, Don, I'm wondering if we don't use purple type in here. Because right now it's really, it's difficult to read. I think that you're a little bit text heavy in both of your, your ads. This Right here, this two-column type for an ad, you would never do that in an ad because that is immediately pointing. If you have to use two columns, that's immediately one consideration I would say is, hey, maybe there's too much type in here. Okay, so with these two columns, it's it's not, it's, it looks a little daunting for the reader to open up this ad and go, oh, wow, nice picture. Look, cute kid and the parents, they're on vacation. This is great. I want to read about this. Then you come over here and you look at this, you go, oh, yeah, that's too much to read. So you move on. Okay, so a way around that is to reduce the amount of type that you have. Okay, I would recommend doing that. The type is a little bit difficult to read up here because of the fact that it's that's where the lightest part of the image is and that's where the lightest part of the type is. So light on light equals no contrast equals difficulty in viewing. The last thing I would like to mention is your hierarchy, okay? Your headline and subhead aren't really headlines and subheads. They're so small that it doesn't, like, the, the viewer doesn't say, go, okay, I know the designer wants me to look right here first because that's the biggest headline. And the headline should be the biggest. It should be a pretty good size area. Take a look at the, well, I mean, the how to complete milestone one video and you'll see what I'm saying. This piece right here, I think, I, I don't think it's as successful as this. I, I think it's just too too busy. Focal point is right here. Boom, boom, boom. And those are because those are the biggest. And in this case, the, the most weight on the page belongs right here, here, and here. Therefore, as soon as we open the page, the first thing we the eye goes to, naturally, is this. These are so heavy. And then the, the next thing you do is you go, okay, where does the designer want me to look next? Not here because this is too small to be a headline. Okay, so am I supposed, but I'm supposed to start here because I know that's where headlines start. But this isn't very much bigger than this. Now I'm confused. I'm out of here. Okay, so what you need to do is really think about typographic hierarchy. Okay, what's the first thing you want to, the viewer to look at? Probably the headline. Therefore, the headline should probably be the biggest of all your type. Okay, and then this image, I think, is, is a mistake. I just think it's too busy to work with the background, especially the way that you have your, your type placed. Okay, so um, that's what I have, and I think that other than that, I think you're looking really good. Good, nice, solid page mechanics. Good job placing your logo. Excellent image placement. Good typography. Good job, thanks.